What the heck is this guy doing here? He's beached. No. We're going to have a huge natural disaster on our hands. Something has gone wrong. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. And today, as always, we have absolutely tons of plans. Let me just very briefly outline those for you. We've got a couple of fixes that you guys have spotted in the comments, which we'll get to. I uh, need to sort of work a bit on our industry area. We have a brand new factory that we're going to unlock as well, which means we need to rebalance some industries to give us the uh, resources we need to do that. But but before we dive into rebuilding and expanding and all of that stuff, there's a couple of changes. Over here in our new area, we were asking for a name for this area here. Lafayette Hills. Now, which area is that? That is the outside of this area. And I can't remember who commented. I beg your pardon. But they said, look, you're missing a trick there. Lafayette Hills. There we go. Sorted. So that's the naming of that one. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, also, underground here, if we just have a quick look at this metro line. Look at that. Look at the steepness of that metro line there. It's down really low and then it's up super high. No idea what is happening there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. Is that a tree or is that? Yeah, that's a tree. There we go. We're going to get that there. Control H and set that as the same height. It's hard to find the zone underground. Is that the one? Yeah, there we go. Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll slope these. We'll take that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there. And we'll just slope the whole lot. And then hopefully... <laughs> this one still seems super high here i don't know whether it's because of the uh okay what we'll do then is we'll get that one there that one there that one there and then we'll slope those ones yeah there we go that looks a lot better slight little dip over here but it's not slowing them down excellent that's good that's fine everything's still moving here really well so we're going to leave it at that uh over here where we've got our oh we're going to be doing the alien rock park today as well uh, over here where we've got our island here which i still haven't named which we will get to um in a moment we had a tunnel under here and the idea was that this tunnel was only going to bring in um some of the services and things we wanted all the cargo to come in via the let's get out of the move it mod thank you Come on. Yeah, we wanted the cargo coming in via the cargo harbour, and we wanted the people coming in via the ferry stop. And at the moment, this road is set up to accept everything. And I'm just wondering whether we could... Hmm. I'm slightly reconsidering my, my options here, whether I do want to turn this off for anything. Let us turn off. So we'll grab... Let's do it this end here. So we're going to use this tool, this tool, and grab that piece of road. And I'm going to ban cars. I'm going to ban cars. <laughs> He's like, I'm a car. I'm not a car. I'm going down. That's fine. Buses are fine. Taxis are fine. Can I ban trucks as well? And we'll just leave all the services and the garbage. Look, this guy. He's going to go for it anyway. Sneaky so-and-so. So now they're going to have to use our cargo harbour. Which is going to be interesting. Whether that is going to kill this whole island or not we should check it out we'll come back and we'll see how that works in a little bit and just looking at this i think we could also help these people on here by adding a barges mod uh thing on here as well uh, we've got one over here here we go to transfer some of our cargo around i think that might be a good idea so could we just sort of extend this a bit and add it on here and I think that will still work okay. So let's give that a go. Space ready occupied. Don't be so silly. No, it's not. There we go. We'll get the move it mods. Uh, we'll take the height of that. Control H. Make it the same height as that. There we go. We're then going to grab that road there. And we're going to bring this one out to here. That just seems a little bit too high. Yeah, I suppose that road is a little bit higher over there. All right, we'll go with that. And then we'll just smoothly smooth out the land. So let's grab here. I'll make the brush size a bit bigger. Right click in the middle to get the size that we want. And we're just going to sort of build this out a little bit like that. And hopefully, 
How big is this barge mod? Oh, it's actually got a road built into it. Okay, let's just pause a sec, because this needs to go. Uh, that road needs to go. There. You're going to let me delete that. There we go. And then hopefully we can... Needs a bit more space. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm wondering how far away we could get that so it still works. If we sort of go, I would say, there... That should be okay. And then we'll grab this and slide it out a bit. There we go. We double click on nodes and we'll just grab that node there. Excellent. And then we'll just move, you move that over to the end. Excellent. And then control H and set that as the same height as this one. Excellent. I think that'll fit in there okay. The water will go in a minute. And then we'll just reconnect up our ferries again. I might, now I'm thinking about this, I might swap my ferries around with this. Or should we just leave it all the same? They're, they're going to end up using the same pathway anyway. So let's just connect them up. We'll see how it goes. So that's going to come... That's going to go over the top of that with no problem. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll connect it up and we'll see how it goes. There we go. So they can still come around there. Let's get rid of the water on the land. There we go. Everything is hooked up. So that should now work. We can also set some stuff in here if we want to. Uh, what have we got over here? What's been done? Got a big fish market. Isn't bringing enough fish over there. So I'll tell you what. We add fish to this. There we go. And then hopefully our fish factory, I should say, will get served a bit better because more fish will come over here. So let's see what happens. We'll keep an eye on that area there. Okay, so that's a couple of fixes. So let us run over here to this area. Hawky Borky, um, industry area. So what I want to do is fit into here a new factory that popped up uh, a few episodes ago. This one here, I think it's the biggest factory there is, size-wise, the car factory. So that needs plastic, glass, and metals. All special goods that we are making and I want to pop it into this area, it might just mean that we need to sort of restructure this little area a tiny bit. So what I'm going to do here is this. Let's just bring that up to here. Grab this here. Uh, what other roads have we got? No other roads down here. Okay, so that'll be access for just this. So move it mod, copy that, and put on snapping. And that is snapping... Oh, there we go. That's what we want. Oh, oh, oh. I want it snapping to the edge of the road. Is that actually doing it? Yeah, there we go. Excellent. And then we'll just set these up the same as they were before. So the last two, paper and petroleum. So these are all set on empty as they're just a little buffer. There we go. If they need to be used. And then all of this can go. And do you know what will be easier, actually? If we use the move it mod and just select all of that and go, yep, goodbye. There we go. Excellent. Let's just get rid of that fence. Good, good. So that's cleared out this sort of space here. And now I'm thinking this road can actually connect here instead. Oh, this is going to turn into a bit of a hawky balky junction. It's going to make this a main road. I'll tell you what. Let's just pop in the factory and see what we get. So we need to save this rock here. But what I'm going to do is grab that rock and also... Okay, let's try that again. That rock there and hold shift and get that rock there. There we go. And then we're going to move them. Come on. Oh, it's always hard grabbing the rocks. There it is. We got them. Yes. We're going to move those rocks all the way over to our new rock park. Because this is what we're going to do from now on. There we go. So that one there. Let's just grab this one. Oh, he's outside the area. Come on, we can do it. Yes. Come on. And then I'll shift him over. So any rocks that we need to save from now on are going to end up in our rock park. That's what I want to do. So now we should be able to pop this factory in here. Ooh, it's like ever so slightly overlapping the railway lines. That's okay. We can fix that. There we go. That's fine. This has got access all the way down here. Let's just grab this road. Let's move these trees first. I'm going to pull that all the way to the end. Yeah, that's okay. So that's got access in there. So now we can bring the road in here, actually, in the middle of this. That is much better. So let's do that.
There we go. So there we go. Got access in and out there, which is good. So we can keep that moving. So they're going to be starved of resources. Uh, so we might just need to store a few more things around here. Because what have we got access to? So it needs animal products, plastic, glass, and metals. Well, we've got plastics. Glass we're struggling for. Metals we've got loads. So animal products. I don't think we have a storage for those. So what we could do, actually, is use some of these change this to animal products and we're going to fill that up how many does this store 45 tons what are these store 400 tons okay these are all going to become animal products on field let me just do that there we go good excellent so that's going to be the storage for that and hopefully we can start bringing those over but i do need i do know we need to up our glass production this has obviously just got some delivery um so let's just come down here and there's something we could do to help with that so over this side of the city we do have two factories we've got the glass manufacturing plant which is 3968 units per week and we have another glass manufacturing plant which is 3968 units per week well we can adjust those if we go into our or industry we now have access to the fiberglass plant which is six six 1,400 units per week, so 12,800 instead of, you know, about 8,000. Um, so we could remove these. So let's get rid of that. And how much bigger is this? It's like one warehouse width bigger. So could I move that over here? I can. Let's just check what it is at the moment. Empty on glass, empty on glass. Okay, so it's just for looks and storage if we needed it. And then we can pop that in there. Let's just check that's the same. Yep, that's fine. So immediately that is up to... Well, it will get some raw materials in a moment. And then we're going to need to do the same over here. I'm just wondering, actually, that on its own, once it gets going, has added a lot more. Uh, what's going on with the power? Power's okay. Water's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I think we'll upgrade both. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We probably don't need two of these. So let's just delete that one there. Let's just pause again and delete that one there. And that should then fit in. Uh, we'll do it there. Yeah, perfect. There we go. What's going on with this little thing here? Oh, we've got this little bit I've drawn in here. Um, yeah, let's change this a bit. Oh, that is just the end of it. Oh, I didn't realise. Oh, what a bonehead. Okay, well, that fit over here instead. Uh, on that road there. Yeah, there we go. We'll pop that in. It's just the slope of the land and the power is going nuts. I think this is bringing power through to this area over here. Let's just speed that up again and see what's going What is going on? Is there a fire somewhere? Or is it that's literally it? Because I've removed... Oh, yeah, look, the power's not jumping across there anymore. Huh. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We will go to our emergency services. We'll go over here and we'll grab ourselves an earthquake sensor and we're going to pop that. Can I put this on instead? Yeah, we're going to pop that right in the middle there. There we go. Joined it all up again. Everybody happy? Yes, everybody's happy. Excellent. Good. So that's going to be glass on empty. Um, and yeah, that's fine. So this is going to be making even more glass. We need to check out our ore production is plentiful. We have so much over here stored in our big bulk ore storage. So that should keep up with that, and this should produce even more glass. And then it's going to be taken around the city via... We've got trucks here. We've got our barges mod over here. We've got our barges going backwards and forwards. Look, coming to get more stuff, and this is already churning away. So, oh, look, 7,936. 7,936. What did it actually say in here? 6,400. So even more. Than it should do. Well, that's fantastic. I've obviously got some bonuses going on there somewhere. Cool beans. That's good. So now when we come back over this side. Mm -hmm, here we are. Excellent. We should start seeing our glass one filling up. So we'll wait to see. But I mean, this is the thing we want to keep the eye on. As long as, long as this is producing 150,000. Look at that. 12,000. The output per week. Our money is going to go up so much that soon... I'm not promising it yet. I, as your mayor, Biffa of New Zealand, promise we will reduce taxes at some point in the near future. Maybe even give free transportation. How much money? So we make about... Yeah, so 9,000. Let's have a look. So trains is the biggest thing. We're making about 8,000. We could literally 
just with the money we're making from that car factory, give free transportation to everybody, everywhere. Hmm, that is an interesting concept. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. I love this uh, Jubilee car factory. And do you know what they're going to be making here? Everybody's decided that they would love one of the old cars. It's now the Model T car factory. That's what they've always wanted. Uh, let's have a quick look at the spawn points in here. How's that working? So they're spawning right out there. Everybody's always wanted a Model T, and now we can just make them. Um, where is, like, the entrance and the exit to the warehouse? You can hear all the uh, automated machines going mad inside. We could, have, we could have it coming out of there, couldn't we, instead? So if we add a point, cargo truck. Oh, look, it's been updated. We've got cargo trucks now. Here we come. So let's just pause that a sec. I'm going to add a point. I'm going to add cargo truck. Because I think a, an episode or two ago, that wasn't there. And we're going to delete cargo truck from there. And so this one here, uh, I want to go down. I want to turn. Let's go down a bit more. There we go. I know this is where the cars are coming in at, but I think this will look cool. We're going to go like this. So they're on this side of the road. So that'll be this side. So if we go like that and just see what that looks like. If we do it underneath, you can't even see it. Let's go back a little bit more. <laughs> Let's see how that works. Oh, hang on. We've got spawn and unspawn. Yeah, go on. You might just drop those off. The oh, he's going to drive across the thing. All right, I tell you what. Let's bring it forward a bit. Hopefully, he'll come up there and go round. We'll see what happens. Let's just keep an eye on this for a minute or two. See if any more turn up or leave. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure I quite like it there. Yeah, I think we need to be, yeah, rebalancing our industries a lot more. We need a lot more goods. We've got tons of animal products. These ones down here aren't quite filled up yet. Okay, let's add in... So let's have a quick look here. So we've got tons of plastics over there. Let's pop a couple of plastics over here so they're just a little bit nearer. So let's just change that to plastics and that to plastics. And then metals was the other one we should have a thing full of metal you've got this one full of metals here so they've got to come down there go around there and up again i wonder if it's just a bit too far could we add like a back we could add a back road here yeah look at this and now hopefully this will bring it all a little bit closer uh, so let's go there and along there is there a pillar under there there is well, let's go there then there we go oh that's it it's curved it for me and then hopefully that is then seen as being a bit closer and should deliver those a bit better to these guys here. And they're not going to be waiting so much. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. They're turning up again. I had to reset the spawn points on this. It had sort of freaked out a bit and wasn't quite working. So, yeah, I'll pass that on to the uh, mod developer. But anyway, oh, there we go. There's some Model T cars going out. Oh, they're going to come back around this way again. That doesn't quite look how I uh, pictured them. But let's take a look as they come past. There we go. Ooh, very swish. Very nice. I like those. Yep, so that's running well. That's working perfectly fine. Goods are all turning up. Excellent. So that is going to provide 86 more jobs. And we did have a bit of a need. If we look down here, it was at 3%. Yeah, still at 3%. So we do need another 3,000 odd jobs. Uh, jobs available people in oh, population there we go no that's not right is it but anyway we've got three percent of people that don't have a job which what's this one needing glass still struggling for the glass hmm and i think these ones over here these are all filled up so it's glass still i wonder whether we could put a glass factory over here do they need to be inside process needs to be inside industry area I know we could sort of be a bit hawky-borky with the industry area and sort of drag it up over there, but I wonder whether we could just fit another one in here along the coast. What's that building there? It's only a recycling centre. Let's add another one over here. I want you to just see that we've got so much that it's just not a problem because any extra, we can just sell it anyway. So... I mean, even another two. And we know we've got enough ore to be going on for days. So why not? Let's just add another couple in. How wide is this going to be? Let's have a look. So that could go up to here. So we could have this road. Mm, yeah, to there. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. 
nice watery welcome to our new factory. And then we can have that coming out to there. And then we could literally have that up against here. Nope. So we'll have that going around the other way. There we go. So we're going to set that to glass as empty. So that's a buffer. If it needs to put it somewhere before sending it out into the city, it will pop it all in there and then it will head out into our city. Uh, let's just fix this here. We're going to turn that around. So there we go. We're going to set that to give way so the main road can go through. Some dedicated turning lanes. Excellent. And then we'll just grab some of these fences and just do a little something something around here. Okay, here we go. We've got our factories working away here. I've just sort of shielded them a little bit with some trees. Just because we do have people living over in Orlando over here on this side of our city. Although everybody who comes to live here does know that they're probably going to end up working in the mines. That was the whole point of this area. Um, so seeing some factories on the distance. But, you know, with the trees there, that is not a bad view, is it? And then you've got the lights of the city at night over there we do need a little bit of parking over here just wondering whether we could do that let's uh do this let's grab that road bring that out a tiny touch make sure that's the same height as that and then maybe just a couple of the what's this one here that's a bit too big just a couple of these down the side two three <laughs> that looks interesting doesn't it uh, let's grab those and make those the same height as the road no okay let's oh there we go i think it did do it it's just a bit slow what the heck is this guy doing here he's beached no we're gonna have a huge natural disaster on our hands something has gone wrong no it's okay we can fix that uh, <laughs> yes that's what i've done i've accidentally put my ferry path over the top there let's just fix that up there we go when i say i put my ferry path over the top there i didn't did i, I moved the land over the top of the ferry path can we save this guy um if i grab the height of that don't worry we're gonna dig you out so you can get back to your deliveries yay we've saved him hooray enjoy Deliver, live, love, laugh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that. There we go. And we can just rough this end up a little bit over here. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do. Excellent. Good, good, good. So that's also going to provide... Let's have a look here. Probably not so many jobs. Uh, another 85 workers times two. Plus over here as well. I mean, you know, it's nowhere near what we need to fulfill our percentage. But... The idea is to get more glass. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit. Check that we've got more glass. Hopefully our ore is going to keep up. That is the other issue. Now we do have this out here. Which is 10,000 units per week. Could we fit in perhaps another one of those? What do we have out in this area? Uh, let's turn this on so we can see. We have a little bit of ore over here. I reckon we could finagle another one in sort of here coming out this way as long as it doesn't impede on that like here straighten this bit out why not let us do that as well then um so we want this where is it in here somewhere this one and that will literally go right on there that'll be too close i reckon on the corner so if that was like that no road connection don't worry about it and then can we sort of do something with this key around here yeah there we go that fits in okay wasn't as difficult as i thought just straightened out the key wall that's around here and then all we need to do is sneaky sneaky don't tell anybody we need to add some ore uh, under here so let's have a look oh we've got lots of oil let's remove the oil we don't need that thank you kindly goodbye goodbye and then we'll add some ore just a little bit under here oh hang on i can't see what i'm doing back again back again there we go just enough to make that bit in the middle nice and dark 
Excellent. Oh, it's going darker. The wider we go, the darker it gets. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. There we go. So that is also now going to be producing ore. 10,912. Ah, funnily enough, the same amount as that. So that's doubled, not doubled oil production, doubled oil production from the seabed mining vessels anyway. So yeah, look, we can see this is getting right down low. So I'm going to keep an eye on this, see how much of a difference these two make. And hopefully we're keeping our industries chugging along, making us money. And there we go. Everything is balanced. Everything's working nicely. Lots of goods in here. Our warehouse is full of glass, full of metals, full of plastics, full of animal products, full of all the stuff that we need and earning us absolutely tons of money every week. Oh, so that one's 12,000 a week, which is fantastic. This one here is 4,000. Oh, there you go. 4,864 a week. Is this one here... 9,728 a week, 10,000, oh my goodness me, that is so much money per week. And just looking at our income, uh, it puts warehouses in here as well, but basically our unique factories are earning almost, it was there nearly at 70,000 per week. That is absolutely nuts. 76,000 per week. Oh wow, I'm trying to keep my eye on this figure here for a second or two. 85,000 a week. Oh my goodness, 90,000 a week. I want to get this up to 100,000 a week. So I'm going to see there's another factory I can add in. Um, I've also just manoeuvred this around a bit. <laughs> All of these cargo containers that were over here, I've just moved them around the back here, which I think looks a lot better. It's a lot closer as well. Um, what other factories do we have that we haven't used yet? Let's take a look in our unique factories tab. So we've got the petroleum refinery, which is 8,000 units per week. We don't know how much that's going to make us and the toy factory which is actually quite good i like that because it's a nice small one and the household plastic factory so either of those two actually aren't too big and i reckon could both fit into this area here so what i'm going to do is grab one of these asymmetrical roads and that is going to come up here like that and then we're going to grab this industry road just to go a little bit further up there and let's pop in. What have we got? The household plastic is the bigger one. That's going to go that side. And the toy factory is a little bit smaller. Darn it. No, we'll have to move that over. That one's going to go this side. As close to that road as it can. There we go. Household plastic factory. And then the other one is going to go like that. And they fit in nicely. Yeah, I like that. That is good. In fact, I'm going to just barge this one down a touch. Come on, up against the road. Should we do it up against the road like the other one? Yeah, there we go. That's fine. That's good. Then we could add some parking down here. With the parking with the trees too big again, we'll just go for the small parking in here. Let me snap on the road. One and two there. And I'm wondering whether a couple just behind here as well. Let's do that. So we're going to go one and get it right up close to there yep excellent that's looking good now what are these need this is when we get a shock <laughs> petroleum and plastics or well, plastics we've got absolutely tons of we've got plastics up here this is all filled with plastics these three will be anyway so petroleum we need to add or water we need to add let's give these guys a water pipe or two why not you know they've just moved into the area let's make them feel welcome and give them some water. There we go. Electricity should be fine. Yep, that's fine. Oh, this one's already filled up. Let's pop that up to there. Have we got petroleum stored around here anywhere? Can these... I bet these can't hold petroleum, can they? It's going to have to be one of these other storage devices. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's just check on here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, they can hold petroleum. Oh, okay. But I'm just wondering whether we could just use something slightly different instead. If we use one of these, will these hold petroleum? 
as that to me makes a lot more sense no they're just oil all right we'll go with that i'm just going to add a little road out the back here just a small one and we'll add a couple of warehouses uh i want them this way around actually that looks quite good that way around doesn't it oh we'll do it that way around that's fine and we'll put petroleum in here let's try that again and we'll put it on field there we go so that's going to hold petroleum for that plastics we've got covered and then this one here paper plain timber and plastics yeah we haven't got any of that in this area so i'm wondering if we could have like a little storage area around the back here let's grab this road i can come down there i can come in there and i can come out there and we'll try and match this up okay let's go down ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh. let's try that again let's go there and there and in fact if we move that out a tiny bit more we could fit some more parking in it couldn't we so let's do that can i grab that park in there there we go excellent that looks good and then we'll put three little warehouses along the back so let's grab what's not too big that isn't too bad actually we have one two oh another rock another rock to save here he comes let's get him let's drag him where he needs to go okay let's go where's the rock park here it is alien rock park zoom zoom, zoom. another rock for our collection oh it's growing we've got three rocks so far excellent 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 there we go so let's pop another one of these there very good so these are paper plain timber oh we've already got plastics haven't we so let's just do filled with paper filled with plain timber and as we've got we need a lot of plastics let's just fill it with plastics as well why the heck not let's just give them some water there we go excellent we've got the big rubber ducky at tiny toys <laughs> excellent which is going to be making us a huge amount of money so let's just wrap that one up to 150,000 150 percent i should say and then i'm just going to keep an eye on this and see whether i've caused a whole load of traffic problems or whether we're going to get all the goodies that we need to keep this going uh, until we build anything else here i'm just going to a few trees just around this area do you know what i've just realized we don't even have a forestry industry i thought i'd done that we've got farming which we did right near the beginning we've got all we've got oil as we've seen but forestry i'd marked out this area all the way over here for forestry and then we never actually did anything with it and unfortunately we can't bring those goods in let's have a look on here paper is produced by pulp mills and biomass pellets cannot be imported has to be produced locally so i could put down a pulp mill and a biomass pellet plant and we could i believe bring in the paper but yeah we can't do that so i don't know whether this on its own what's this making for us four thousand eight hundred and sixty four there we go four thousand eight hundred and sixty four a week whether that's going to push us over to a hundred thousand on its own or not okay so let's see if we can help this place get some paper and plain timber and i'm just wondering whether this little area here with all of these trees we could just turn this into a, a teeny tiny forestry industry with just enough to keep this thing ticking over so let us grab our industry here we go zone and we're going to pop this into here there we go and that will sort of do i think and that's going to be cool oh, i'll tell you what let's put the thing down first so we've got this here our forestry main building which should be able to go bang on the end of that road right there there we go sawmill small tree plantation small log yard excellent yep that fits in nicely there i wonder if we just move that over a bit now we'll leave that where it is so we've got the willow wood production uh, we're going to change this we're going to go for the name that we always go for the tea tree wood production excellent yep fantastic that is what we want and then i'm sort of thinking around here if we grab this road here and just see if we could come off the end and just sort of try and make the best use of this space that we've got here that we can acclaimed acclaimed okay thank you very much and then get some small tree plantations in here so if we went along like that 
We could fit one in there, but not another one. Okay, we could fit one up here. I want to sort of fit a couple in next to each other. That's what I'm trying to do. Hmm. And then that unlocks our sawmill, which is going to give us the planed timber, which we just can't fit in there. That's slightly annoying. How much does that hang over? Could I just move this road over a touch? So if I do that and do that, is that going to let me squeak it in? Oh, man, that is going to be so close. How does that look with the rail line pulling right up against it? Do you know what? That looks okay. That is fine for me. So now this is going to give us plain timber, which is one of the items that we want here. So that should be delivered over to here first. That's how it's all going to work. But that's going to take a while to kick in. Let's give these lovely people some water pipes. There we go. That should be okay. You happy? You're happy. Excellent. Uh, should we change these trees? What have we got? We've got beech. We've got alder. We've got conifer. What? not conifer okay let's leave it on beach then <laughs> yeah that will do here we go We're bringing it over the first trees coming in what where are you going exporting faulty products i want you to pop them here please oh uh, i'll tell you what it's probably gonna make me put down one of these uh in between this one and that one uh yeah i'll tell you what we're gonna grab that extend that whoa <laughs> <laughs> trying to connect to something there, weren't you, boy? We're going to add that in there. There we go. And we're going to put this on balance. Yep, that's fine. And then these will start exporting here and then bring them around to here. Uh, what I'm going to do also is add in some car parking. We're going to go one either side like that. Excellent. There we go. Plain timber. And then in any second now, we'll get a plain timber truck come out. Dropping off some more raw forestry products. Yeah, so we need somewhere to store the raw forestry products as well. We saw that we are running short on space already <laughs> in this area. Um, here would be nice if we could squeeze it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that. Move that to the end. I'm going to get that and budget right up to there. I'm going to get this and bring... Oh, another candidate. Okay, zoom out, zoom out. Yeah, we're not going to get time to do the whole alien rock park concert thing today but our rock collection is growing there we go yeah so along here uh this one i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna just put a little bit of storage in here for our raw forestry products that will do nicely nice teeny tiny little warehouse what have we got uh not that one this one here uh that one is quite big that one is quite small uh, that should be fine. So we're going to pop in here. Uh, zone forestry products. See, that's the same thing. And we'll have that as filled. So that's now the buffer from the two small tree plantations. Raw forestry products into here. And then that will come round into here. And then we've got a buffer for the planed timber. Oh, that's in there as well. Duh! Bonehead. And then the buffer for the plain timbers over here. Anyway, we'll have that. Why not? Uh, do you know what? Actually, we won't. I'm going to take it away because they're costing us a lot of money, aren't they? <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to be stored in there. That's going to come to here. That's going to come over to there. So, the only thing we're short on is the paper. And we can't get the paper until we unlock. So, that's the medium tree plantation. I think that's going to be the next level. So, that's the sawmill. Biomass pellet plant. Yeah, so you might have to let this run for a while. I'll see what it, we need to get to the next level. Actually, let's check it on here. Workers until next level 150. We've got space for 126. Oh, man, this is going to be... This is going to be tough. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to just change this again. We're going to move that up here. So we can fit a road down the side like this. And see if we can squeeze something else in here. There we go. Let's just move this over a tiny touch. There we go. So how many jobs is that giving us? 146. Oh, man, we're so close. We are so close. Let's just check our power before my whole city dies. It hooks across there now. Anyway, excellent. So we don't need that. Very good. Oh, man, we're so short on space. 
I mean, I could, if I went over the top here, could I fit another one in here? Do you know what? We could. Talk about cramming stuff in, I tell you. Let's make use of this space here, as it is all an industry-type area. And having that near a built-up area like this, just because it's trees, surely that would not be an issue. There we go. Got a little bit of access over the highway. Makes use of this treed area over here. It's hot. It's like there's almost nothing there, which is fantastic. Hidden away. And that gives us a potential of 166 workers. Well, we only need 150 and a load of resources to get to the next level. And that might be just what we need. So we'll let that run for a bit. By the way, these backed up trains here. I'm not quite sure what's going on. But I keep getting... Let's have a look through here. Yeah, they're going to take a minute or two to clear. What happened was, is I had an industry train, a freight train like this, with another one stuck on top of it, both in this space here, which was really weird. So I've delete, deleted one of them, and now the rest will get moving. They've just got to work through their backlog. So while we're waiting for that to fill in, uh, another name that's just been given to me, which is absolutely fantastic. So we've got Lafayette Hills over here. But for this little center section here, it's going to be Sugar Cube Square, which I thought was an absolutely brilliant name because all of these, you know, if you squint, they look a bit like sugar cubes, don't they? Cool. Okay, right. Let's let this run for a while until we get to level two. And then hopefully we'll get the last product that we need. Hey, look at that. It just happened. Just while I was sat here watching. 100,000. Oh, a week. That is absolutely brilliant. And my expenses are 40,000. Now, now that includes, because we've got in here warehouses. I do have a lot of warehouses. So if I trim down on the warehouses, we can make even more. But over 100,000 a week, that is absolutely fan-flipping-tastic. 106,000. Oh, it's getting up there, which is great. We're getting close on this as well. 76. So one other name that I wanted to change, if we come over here. By the way, it's just hooked up with power and water now. Just doesn't get the services going, but yes. Some people are, are, are using it every now and again. We were calling it the Spider Hub or something like that, weren't we, because of how it looks. It's going to be the T-Rantula Terminal. I know it's... Yeah, I suppose it is a terminal, isn't it? Yeah, but the T-Rantula Terminal. Tarantula, T-Rantula, you get the idea. And it looks a little bit like a spider, I thought, with its ten legs. And there is a ten-leg spider. It's called the Camel Spider. So, yeah, very scary spider. Um, but yeah, there we go. So yeah, back in a sec when tea tree wood production upgrades. And just while I think of it, there is a bus line that runs down here to bring people into this area. So what I'm thinking of doing is just, if I grab that stop there, yeah, that's going to go all the way around the houses, isn't it? Oh, no, hang on. No, I don't want that stop. Delete. I'll grab this one here and just run a stop up into this general vicinity. Um, I reckon there. And that's sort of in the middle of all of this. And hopefully just help get some more people to come into work over here. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right, it's been a slow crawl to get up there. We're nearly at 150. What I've done to help is I've had a couple of paths in. Um, so we've got this path here that comes up and over the highway and comes into this area over here, Crest Heights. Uh, that connects to this path, which goes over here, which connects to this side of Crest Heights to help all of these people get over the highway to work. And then this side, Fairview Heights, that we haven't renamed yet, I've added a path over the top just to help people generally get to this area to come into work as well, to hopefully give a bit of a boost. So we're at 142. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. Please get up to 150. I've also put on the policies... Uh, improved work safety supervision. Um, so increases work and health. Hopefully that will encourage some more to come over there. We only need seven more. Hooray! Hey, <laughs> finally, that took so flipping long. So now we have the biomass pellet plant, furniture factory, sawdust storage, forest workers barracks, and small tree sapling. So let's have a look at this biomass pellet plant and see if that is the thing we're waiting for. If it isn't, then paper. Oh, 
Oh, what's this one doing down here? I can't remember. Plain timber. Yeah, paper is the one we want. So we've got, we've got to try and fit that in somewhere. Um, how big is this? That's this one. Oh my goodness, that's huge. What piece of space could we use over here somewhere to build this in? Could we shiftify these to down here and then utilize this space? I bet we could. Uh, yeah, let me just move this around one sec. And there we go. A little bit of finagling later. And we've managed to fit all of this into here. Whew. It all works. Yeah, it's all hooked up. So this is just waiting for its raw forestry products to be brought over. And that can be made into paper at the moment. That's going to be sort of brought around this way and up there and through there. We could add another little road on over here, couldn't we? I'll tell you what. Let's get this one here. And if that connects straight across here, let's put a little curve on there. Like, oh, not like that. I don't want it like that. I want it a bit further down. Actually, no, that'll be okay. We'll go with that. And then we'll just make that give way coming out. Give them dedicated turning lanes. There we go. So they can come out there, head out into the wider world of our industrial estate. Let's just bring that down a little bit. Move that one over a little bit. There we go. Excellent. And bring the items over here. So it won't be very long. And this will be producing the paper that we need. There we go. That will be coming over here. And already this is waiting for some paper. <laughs> I've got the symbol turned off. There we go. And hopefully it won't be long and that will fill up and make us even more money. There we go. The first delivery of tiny toys going out into the city. That is what we want to see. Wow, that took so long. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that episode. We've got so much more cool stuff going on in our industry area. I think it's looking fantastic. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.